This is just the perfect spot to eat this. You guys got a big group. Oh yeah. <laughs> I tried to bring everything I would need to make French toast on the top of Mount Talac. Love it. I'm coming with you. Yeah, you guys want any? This included a stove I bought the day before. You'll notice I'm literally reading the instructions at the top of the mountain. So after an hour and a half, I cannot get my stove to light. This is how you get fat. Then I tried again near the town of Mammoth Lakes. Slightly better outcome. I'm getting this thing to work outside. But still couldn't keep the stove lit for more than 30 seconds at a time. Butter in the pan. Doofy as it is. For more fun adventures with terrible stoves, subscribe to my channel, Wild Eating. And again on Cloud's Rest in Yosemite. This time with a backup though. After trying for 30 minutes, I ended up switching over to the backup completely. Finally, I bought a new stove. Oh, this is fucking awesome. I wanted to do a quick shot before I pack up my car. I'm parked at the entrance to Yosemite. It's about a couple miles that way. This area is just completely spectacular. There's 3,000 foot cliffs on each side of me. Another at least 1,000 down into the canyon over there. I'm gonna try to just stay here overnight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go up to Mount Dana. It is more of a scramble than a centered hike. There's not as maintained of a trail as like the rest of Yosemite. But it's only two and a half miles, I think, maybe three and a half miles, and it's just straight up 3,000 feet. So I've just laid out pretty much everything that I'm gonna need tomorrow. Cookware, food for me for the journey, lighters, hand sanitizer, two stoves, two canisters. This is a one-way valve because I need to refill this, so I'm gonna do that from this. Sunscreens, anti-chafe balm, utensils and serving ware, paper plates and stuff, cutting board. I don't have my clothes out here yet, I need to get those. I don't have my charging stuff, my extra batteries. I don't have my food out here yet, water's out here. Windscreen, tripod. Be bold, start cold. Lighter than yesterday, but still heavy. I think still over 50 pounds. First little lake here. I love looking at the reflection of the trees and the glassy lakes in the morning before anything has been on there. It's so picturesque. Starting to gain a bit of vert, but no alpine yet. Still a bunch of wildflowers, still in the trees. I'm approaching the tree line, passing our first traveler up here. And he's going up, great. We'll be cooking for at least one. What's up, man? Good, how are you? Do you see anyone else? No, the other us. I'm gonna be making grilled cheese and tomato soup on the summit. Oh, for, for, for you. As prep for our grilled cheese and tomato soup excursion on the mountain, I'm gonna make a tomato soup. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up some shallots. <laughs> and whoever happens to be, I got a whole loaf of bread, so hopefully there's some travelers besides just us two, but if not, we're gonna have a party. This is a neat little trick I learned to very quickly. Minced shallots. These don't need to be that fine though. I got some tomato soup too. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm also gonna use half an onion with the shallots. 1150 feet of vert so far out of 3000. And I see one more hiker that I think I'm gonna hit. Our other guy's way down there. So, at least two. That's three sandwiches. I say that's a win. Now I'm gonna grate two cloves of garlic on the microplane. Okay, I can finally see the summit. It's that big guy over there. Hopefully there's a good view up there. And we're gonna use bread to really enhance the creaminess of the soup by acting as a an emulsifier between the, the oil, the olive oil that we're gonna add, and the water that's in the tomatoes and also the water. How are you guys doing? I hope you're ready for grilled cheese and tomato soup at the summit. Hey, if you need, uh, if you need any help, I wouldn't mind helping out, you know? Sounds good. I'm gonna take off some of the crust from this slice, and then I'm just gonna tear it into pieces. So unfortunately my friend down there, I think him and the two girls decided to call it quits. 
which is pretty unfortunate. And another unfortunate thing is I didn't realize I needed micro spikes and I left them in the car. That or crampons would be really helpful for this friggin' snow field or trekking poles or anything. See how I do. I'm gonna make it a few feet. If I start slipping, I'm just gonna go all the way around there. So there's nice sort of steps made from enough people doing this. Now I'm going to heat two tablespoons of olive oil and put the aromatics in, the onions, the shallots, and some spices. Oregano. Black fermented garlic. Smoked ghost chilies. The whistle sound of my own nose breathing through my snot sounded like a bird and I thought a bird was up here. There's no birds up here. And we're gonna add our tomatoes. Two cans of <coughs> two cans of <coughs> whole field tomatoes. <coughs> that's the smoked ghost chilies that's getting in my throat. Bread. And we're just gonna mash tomatoes a bit. Whole wheat einkorn flour, which is an ancient grain. Off the snow field, 12,044 feet. Total set 1987, which means we have 1,100 feet left. This is just gonna give it a little bit more creaminess, and maybe a little bit of nutty flavor, and then two cups of water. Might just overflow this pan. Just barely made it. Now that the soup is cooked, we're gonna transfer it to a blender. I'm climbing up this boulder field after being slightly off course, but all in good fun. Honestly, I kind of wanted to do it this way because I get to scramble a bit. It's a little bit of a hands and feet situation. Give you guys a taste of what I'm doing. We'll do half of it first. For the next half, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. Is this it? Oh shit. This is it, baby. Oh shit. Wow. Oh my god. Look at Mono Lake over there. Oh. <laughs> oh god. This is so fucking sick. And add some salt and pepper to taste. Oh, that is maybe too spicy. Hope I don't kill people up there. booties. All right, now I just gotta pack this into a container that I can bring up to a mountain. We got soup in here. There's this Primus stove compared to the MSR Pocket Rocket. It's got a little bit wider base. Flames come out the end a bit more. So I'm hoping it's gonna heat the cast iron more evenly. These lighters all suck. Come on. So I'm digging a base for this so that it doesn't topple over. Oh no! Oh no! Well, it's gonna be rock flavored soup. Don't worry, there was still enough for a few cups of soup. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. Just barely fits. How goes it? Good. Can I interest you in, any, uh, in, in some fresh grilled cheese? Fresh grilled cheese made on the summit. I got enough for a small army, more than enough for you. I was about to head down, but luckily someone showed up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a whole spread. Butter or truffle mayo? Ooh. They're both great. 
I'll just do butter. Butter Let's sounds great. Butter. Make I, good I, okay, I trust you. I trust you. Really yeah, yeah. One. That sounds great. Yeah. What's going on up here? What's up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. This is the wild eating grilled cheese pop up on oh Mount Dana. My God. You want a grilled cheese? Sure. Yeah, you already hold, hold our hold. We got coffee and sweet bread. I heard, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you we guys go. are also We're set. up in the game a bit. We got up the game. My trick with this, pull it off the heat a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, and let it kind of angle it. Yep. Like, you've got a whole system, man. Do this. Yeah, yeah. I've been experimenting. I love it. I think that'll work. <laughs> do this and then off center it. <laughs> I'm really trying to get the cheese to melt better. Yep. Wow, look at the flip and and everything. Yeah, there's a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the outside. There's miso, caramelized onions, mushrooms in there, and Amazing. some of this guava pepper jelly. Wow. Thank you, sir. All right, that's the good rock part right there. Yeah. You don't Let know how much I love cheese. It's so gourmet. Thank you. Anybody want some full way bread? Oh, nice. You want a little piece? No, I'm good. I already had two sandwiches. Okay, okay. Don't want to overdo Incredible. it. Here you are. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Do you like spicy food? Moderately spicy. Okay, never mind. The the tomato soup I made is it's a little bit more than yeah, moderately spicy. I screwed up. I was like, I'm gonna use these ghost chilies instead of cayenne. Okay. What's your name? I'm Annie. Nice to meet you, Annie. You're almost here, you got it! Last 50 feet, come on man! Do you want me to start you uh you want me to start making a grilled cheese for you? Alright, I you got it. Woo! Welcome! Well done. Oh, dude, you want the last bowl of tomato soup? Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be a little bit cold, but it's still great. It's okay, you have. I'm I don't want it. I'm full. Oh. This is all for other people. I, this is a YouTube series. Oh, yeah, baby. Your choice of either a guava brava jelly or pepper jelly or sour cherry. Pepper jelly. It's a good choice. Do you have an enjoyable hike at least? Yeah. Thank you. Hope this much. hits the spot. This is very good feeling. Here, nothing like this. 13,000 feet. And you're eating hot. Awesome. Great. You. You're welcome. There's butterflies around us, too. If this looks good to you and you want to eat it on a mountain with no work, with me cooking for you, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow for updates. I'll post where I'm going to be in the future so you can know exactly where to be and when.